Hey folks, welcome to this Sunday Keys tutorial. In this video, you're gonna learn how to find new and unique sounds in Sunday Keys. The Sunday Keys template delivers amazing ready to play worship sounds and layered patches designed for modern worship music. Many of them are designed to fit in any mix and to complement any band. So you've got classic piano sounds, pad sounds, lead sounds, ambient stuff, strings, synth bass, and many of the patches and ready to play sounds are dialed in to work for almost any song. I'm talking about patches like this one. Truly a universally versatile patch that could cover almost any modern worship context. You could use this one patch for an entire set list if you wanted to, and you'd still have the ability to grow dynamically and flex to meet the needs of the given band that you're playing in. And that's awesome. Sunday Keys is great at that. But we also think that you can find a lot of new inspiration, ideas, and textures to bring to your band using the Sunday Keys library. You just have to know where to look. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite unique places to find sounds in Sunday Keys that you might have missed to date. And I'm gonna recommend how you can add them to your existing way of thinking about putting together your own patches and bring something new to your worship band. To get started, Sunday Keys receives a new drop of sounds every month on the first Tuesday of each month. So if you have an active Sunday Keys license, you're gonna see and be able to download that new update the first Tuesday of every month. In the main stage format, you can always locate those sounds after you've installed them within Patch Builder itself. So I'm just going to go to Patch Builder, select one of the sections where I'd like to add a sound, and then I can go down here to Recently Added, and I'll see the contents of the most recent updates. You'll see the last several updates reflected here, but all of these individual sounds will also automatically be added to the correct folders in Patch Builder. So even as new sounds are added and these older folders go away, those sounds are still gonna be located in Patch Builder themselves. So you're gonna be able to find them there for the long term. And in the Ableton Live format, you can identify what sounds have been recently added by visiting the version history page on our website that spells out everything that's been done to Sunday Keys in the history of the template. We'll put a link to that version history page in the description of this video if you'd like to check it out. Let's talk about and look at these first couple of updates. This is the December 2021 update. And this is an update that has a variety of different kinds of sounds. It's really all over the place in a fun way. You've got new sequences, organs, this really great new FM guitar sound. And what might be my new favorite pad sound in Sunday Keys, guitar monix pad. Let's listen to how this one evolves as I hold out this chord. So cool. If you're just patient and let that chord sit, all sorts of interesting stuff starts happening as these samples reverse and play back. You'll also find new synth sounds sampled from vintage and hard to find hardware. The December and January updates that I'm gonna be showing you here, I was able to borrow a Juno 60, a classic vintage synthesizer from uh, another member of the team here at Sunday Sounds, shout out to Cameron. And I've been having a blast sampling it. There's just something so awesome about the Juno 60. It's got this really great sort of lo-fi synth vibe. And it's just an amazing synthesizer. You can definitely hear that sort of gritty lo-fi texture on the pad sounds. And the resonant filter on the Juno 60 is also legendary. You can definitely hear that resonance on this bass sound.
and then just as much on this really great bright pad. I've also added a new vocal pad right here. I love vocal pads. and this really great muted guitar sound. So if we're talking about new and unique sounds, these updates every month are bringing a lot of different things to the table from organ sounds to sequences, arpeggiated sounds, some really versatile pad sounds, but then also stuff like this muted guitar that's just going to do something entirely different in the mix of a layered patch than a synth lead sound. Now let's take a look at the January update. I'll go a little bit more quickly here. Just a couple sounds I want to highlight. This brilliant synth bells patch is an amazing synth lead. A couple new piano presets. On the topic of pianos, you've got run-of-the-mill piano sounds or meat-and-potatoes kind of piano sounds by the dozen in Sunday Keys. Grand pianos, upright pianos, but we also have some really unique piano textures that can fill that sort of space, but are going to do something and bring a different energy to the mix. Check out how this sounds. And another voicing of the flannel piano. Here's another Juno 60 preset. This one went more in a sort of tear it apart, put it back together sound design focus. It's uh, started as an organ sound sampled from the Juno 60, but we sampled it through a 100% wet vocal reverb sort of sound that ended up turning it into this really unique, sort of hard to place vocal pad. And we'll talk about the wispy violin a little bit more in a few minutes, but we've also added a couple more voicings and articulations of the wispy violin. They're not run-of-the-mill string sounds. These are extended articulations. They definitely fill that space, but don't just sound like cookie-cutter string sounds. There's all sorts of noise and air in this particular articulation. So each month you're getting a new batch of sounds to explore in Sunday Keys, and there's a lot of diversity to what you'll find there. But there's also lots to explore in the existing library, especially if you know where to look. So I want to highlight some of my favorite oddities and maybe more unique sections of Patch Builder that I'd encourage you to explore for yourself. As I show you where you can look for these more unique sounds, I'll give some ideas for how you could substitute or add some of these textures to more maybe run-of-the-mill meat and potatoes worship patches. Keep watching as we explore, and I think you're going to find some new ideas to try for yourself. And as I'm showing these different sounds, Leave a comment on the video now with some of your favorite unique sounds or categories that might also be a little bit outside of the box. What do you like to go to in Sunday Keys that's a little bit more unique uh, when you're building your own patches? So we're going to work through some of the categories here, and I'm going to show you some of the weirder stuff, some of the more unique stuff that might go into places you wouldn't expect. Let's start off with piano sounds. So we've got tons of piano sounds across different categories, really traditional stuff that will work for any song like the SK Grands, the SK Upright, a couple different Grands, but we also have a felt piano in Sunday Keys, which is definitely more unique. You've got that felt hammer action, and even more unique than that, we have the family piano, which is a console half upright piano. Check out this lo-fi variant with this pitch modulation. 
If you needed a piano sound in a mix, you could use this instead of a grand piano, and it would bring something totally different to your band's sound. Check out this cloudy voicing. Watch what happens as I sustain. You get these ascending octaves happening on a loop for as long as you hold down. So there's really unique stuff there. And of course, one of the safest substitutions you can make if you're trying to do something unique with the sound is instead of using an acoustic piano, consider using an electric piano. And we've got all sorts of Rhodes and Wurlitzer electric piano sounds in Sunday Keys. I'm not gonna show all of them to you, but I do wanna highlight the Noisy Rhodes, which is a really unique sampled Rhodes piano sound. And you've got several different voicings available. And that's doing something in the mix that an acoustic piano is just not going to do. If you want to take it even a little bit further away from home base, check out the digital pianos. These are sampled from vintage hardware and rack synthesizers. And they just bring a different energy to the mix. They still are functionally piano sounds. But there's just something different about them. And some of these are really iconic sounds as well, so they have their own sort of nostalgia or familiarity about them. And then it gets really weird and interesting when we get to the miscellaneous keys category. All of these sounds have some sort of attack. They can fill some sort of piano-like space, but they're gonna do something that's pretty off the wall and different. including this custom dulcimer. But if we bring the tone down, then we're getting a little bit closer to that, not quite a piano sort of space, which is really cool. There's also some great stuff inside this bells, glass, and metal subcategory. This is one of my favorites. So if you needed to intentionally not use a piano sound, but you still wanted sort of a lead voicing instrument that could, you know, do some melody doubling, that has some attack, using a bell sound or something like this is a really unique choice. Or we've also got this finger piano. Very much still sounds like an acoustic instrument got mechanical noise in the samples. Sounds sort of like a music box. So there's all sorts of safe choices you can make inside the pianos and Sunday keys, and there's also options to take stuff in entirely new and unexpected directions. That's also true with the pads category. Let's start off by showing you a few string pads. Some of these pads just have a little bit more of a bowed sort of feeling. A little bit more of that energy. A lot of these patches will still absolutely work layered with any piano for any song, but they're just bringing a little bit more of that maybe sort of orchestral or classical feel while still being versatile, filling that space, acting as glue in the mix. But some of these get a little bit closer to that sort of actual string space. Check out this swarm and how it fades in over time. I also mentioned vocal pads. Vocal pads are a really great, simple substitution you can make when you don't wanna use a run-of-the-mill warm pad sound, but you still wanna hang back a little bit in the mix. The thing that defines most vocal pads is some sense of a vowel sound being present in the sustain of the pad. Vocal pads do that really, really well, and there's a lot of diversity available there. They, they stand out nicely from a synth pad. They sound different, but they don't necessarily sound aggressive or over the top. So there's a few different vocal pads to choose from in Sunday Keys. Some of these sounds can also feel quite vintage in a really nice way.
And then when you need that ambient sort of space filling character, but you want to bring a really unique texture to the band, the sound beds subcategory of pads is absolutely the best place to go. This is where the most strange off the wall texture heavy stuff hangs out in the pad category. So there's all sorts of different vibes on tap here. Here's a really helpful tip for you when you're considering adding these more interesting textures into the mix when you're building your own patch. Oftentimes, it's a great idea to not replace a more safe or run-of-the-mill pad sound with something a little bit more out there like one of these sound beds. Instead, consider adding this sort of sound alongside of your existing, maybe a little bit simpler pad that has less motion. Then you can bring the volume or the brightness of the sound bed or texture in or out in the mix as needed to add more energy, to add extra nuance at the right moments, but still have that sort of simpler, less uh, intense pad sound that you can fall back on. Other times you want the sound bed to define the sound of your keys patch. So you might decide to forego a more traditional pad entirely, but I really love blending these weirder sort of off the wall sounds in with more static pad sounds because then I get the best of both worlds and I can stay in control of how they blend together in Sunday Keys. Let's move on and talk about leads. I want to highlight one category only and that is synth brass leads. Really an awesome sort of retro vibe on a lot of these sounds that's popping up all over pop music, all over EDM music. It's not necessarily a sound that a lot of worship keys players are super comfortable diving into. So I would say approach these as you would have played a polysynth or a trance lead in the last few years uh, for songs like Alive or Wake or This Is Living by Hillsong Young and Free. You can do that same sort of thing with a brass sound or even just treat it as a really bright pad sound and still get great results. <laughs> Now let's move on to ARPs. I want to highlight some of the sequences that are available in Sunday Keys. These are all key specific and they're locked to the key of the play in and here in easy transpose controls in the Sunday Keys template. You can do all sorts of unique things by just dropping the right sequence into your layered patch. And these sequences are all triggered based on the left hand bass notes that you play. And there's all sorts of different vibes. If you're looking for inspiration or maybe wanting to rearrange an existing sound, bring something new to it, exploring the sequences in Sunday Keys is a great way to chase down that inspiration. Because a lot of these patterns are actually melodic, they might give you ideas for different parts or arrangement ideas that you would not have come up with otherwise. So go into a specific song as you're preparing with sort of a concept of the chords and the arrangement in mind, and then see how the interplay of those existing parts and your existing notions about how to play the song might line up or go into an entirely different direction based on any particular sequence that you might load up. There's so much diversity to these sequences that you're gonna find all sorts of different sort of results from just swapping out the sequence alone. And we want to talk about oddities. There's all sorts of interesting textures here. And there's even some bass stuff. Next, let's talk about organ sounds. Sunday Keys comes with B3 organ sounds, digital organ sounds, cathedral organ sounds. But there's one little diminutive patch, the subcategory of reed organ in Sunday Keys organ category that I want to highlight for you. This is a totally unique sound that I absolutely love. 
right at home in any acoustic set ever. Absolutely, you've heard this sound on records for sure. If you listen to something from House Fires or Rend Collective or Bethel's more stripped down stuff. But it can also absolutely replace a more traditional Hammond B3 or a synth organ sound if you bring it up in the mix at the right time. It's just tucked away here within the organ category, and I absolutely love this sound. I sampled it myself. I just love adding it into the mix. It's one of my favorite go-to sort of, let's do something weird with this patch and take things in a new direction. Speaking of those sorts of sounds, let's talk a little bit more about strings, specifically the wispy violin sampling sessions delivered some of my favorite extended string articulations that you can only find in Sunday keys, and they are just, they're off the wall, and at the same time, they sit just right in the mix to my ear. And each of these articulations is totally unique. Listen to the difference between that one, the Evo voicing, and this harmonics preset. Here's another. Now, depending on how comfortable and confident the guitarists on your team are, or if you maybe don't have the guitarists you need for a given Sunday, you might want to bring some guitar sounds to the mix. That's definitely something that you can do, be a little bit more off the wall, unique from the keys position. But Sunday Keys has you covered with all the guitar sounds you could need. A couple different custom sample guitar patches, including the custom jet guitar and the worship guitar. and this gorgeous guitar harmonic sound. That brings us to bass. A couple different things I want to highlight for you here. Sub bass is one of the most universally versatile bass sounds or styles of bass sounds that you can add to almost any layered patch. And so many of the stock ready to play layered patches in Sunday keys rely on some sort of sub bass sound. But when you think of sub bass, you might just think of that really low sort of rumbly thing with not much character going on to define it other than that. But that does not have to be the case. There's several different sub bass sounds that have that sub equality, but also have something interesting to contribute to the mix on the mid and high end of things. So check out the difference between these four different bass sounds that all have a really strong sub character. And these first two patches both have a ton of note definition. That means you're actually going to hear the note from the bass and not just feel it. Sometimes that's absolutely something that can just take the bass over the edge and really bring that sort of clarity, that note definition to the bass parts you're bringing into the mix, especially if the house you're playing in doesn't have the cleanest sub system. If the bass is feeling like it's just not powerful, it's not coming through clearly, having some note definition on top can really help to clean that up to the listener. But sometimes you just need pure sub. And the sub bass patch here absolutely nails that. Still just the slightest bit of nose on top to define those changes. 
that never gets overbearing. And if you've got a house with nice subs, then this is just absolutely gonna fill the room. One more. This starts out very similar to the sub bass. But as you move that mod wheel up, you just get a little bit of growl as that filter opens. And having the flexibility to know you need a sub bass, but then intentionally choose the right sub bass for the moment you're hoping to create is something that absolutely will push your sound design and your patch design to the next level. One more bass sound that I've got to show you. This is a really cool sort of vintage real bass sound sampled from a bass that's been hanging on my wall for years and years. So those are some of my favorite go-to unique and odd places to look for inspiration and new sounds in the Sunday Keys sound library. And of course, the monthly new updates of sounds added to Sunday Keys are a constant stream of both solid any patch style, any worship song style sounds, but also things that are gonna push you to try new ideas, hopefully get inspired with your sound and patch design and just have fun exploring what Sunday Keys can do for your worship team. So if you haven't already, leave a comment with your favorite weird Sunday Key sounds that you go to time and time again. Or if this is sort of a new concept to you trying to push boundaries for yourself, leave a comment with the sound you're most excited to try after watching this video. If you don't already have a Sunday Keys license, we'll put a link in the description. You can learn all about Sunday Keys and the community of users who use it every Sunday for their church worship services. That link is in the description if you'd like to learn more. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more videos breaking down how you can push Sunday Keys to do new things, leave a comment, let us know, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That's a great way to support our work and help us produce more videos like this one. I'm David Falsgraf. Thanks for watching and have a great day.